All right. We're in the cyber truck. Full self driving. 13.2.9. Yes, we are on this latest release. But big notes uh, are similar. And uh, are we going to run over this old man? Probably not. We're in the cyber truck, of course. And, uh, it's moving out of the way. Sometimes it would slow down right here. It doesn't seem like it's doing it today, which is good. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So what is going on today? We're going to take a shortcut. I gotta take my kids to the dentist, and we're gonna see what is this fourteen dot two dot. 13.2.9 all about. Is this going to be the last one before the Robo Taxi? I do think that we should get one more. <laughs> it may be asking too much, but uh, because I, I, I think there's some features that I don't see right away that Robo Taxi should have. Or it could just be that the cyber truck is just going to be consistently behind. Uh, let me turn down. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got to turn this down because this thing is blowing. It's blowing too much. All right, so this right turn, you can see at this intersection, is quite busy. There's a lot of people that tend to do U-turns here as well to get onto the freeway. And uh, sometimes cars don't stop. You see that person in front of me, they didn't really stop. Cybertruck is inching out, trying to position itself and it should go after their, this one, and it does. So where are we going to? Okay, so we're going to the next large street because we won't be able to swap over to the next lane. It is just too crowded right now. And there's this blue button at the security camera. Not sure what it is. I'm going to wait until we get to a stop. If up there, there's a stop. So, uh, just on our merry little way. Okay. And uh, everything seems fine. There's something I, um, I'm going to try to detour just to see what would happen. Okay, so what does this mean? Oh, saving, uh, never mind. Saving dash cam clip part to view clips. So that blue indicator probably shows that uh, there's some, there's there are new clips that need to be seen. In other news, uh, Tesla China produced 61,995 vehicles in April. March production stood at 76,499. So there has been a downward production in China. I believe that's normal. I remember seeing charts of uh, the production in Tesla and uh, it's they do go up and down. Other than that, I mean, 60, 62,000 ish vehicles is a, a heaping load. It's a lot of vehicles. So, anyhow, we are in 13.2.9, enjoying this new version of full self driving. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been weeks or even months. I, I don't know. 13.2.8 was a staple version. It just stayed for a very long time. And it's too soon to, to tell if there's issues, but I think we're going to test one out right here, right now. I'm going to force it to test one out right here, right now. And is, is that Aston Martin? It is a good looking car. So what's going to happen right here is that 
I'm going to try to convince it to go to the inside left lane. It won't go, so I have to force it over. Uh -huh. And we are in full self-driving again. And the reason for this is that in the previous version, I ran over the center column or the center divider. Yeah, this just it just drove over. This is a center divider that this Tesla has driven over before. It's done it before. So even though it doesn't definitely solve the issue or let's just say it, it gets past and it doesn't hit that center column, it's not a 100% solve. It just means that at the moment it's okay uh, because this can go retro I'm just hoping that there's gonna be less of it and here we go here it is that column that center divider it it gets awfully close okay so this time it didn't get all that close to be honest it usually gets a lot closer hopefully that means that there's been an improvement and the Cybertruck is, they're taking account for the size of the truck. The truck is larger than the Model X, the Model Y. So they they have to recalibrate it. And I hope, I hope they do. And I hope that, I mean, that this is already a recalibrated update. Because we are certainly a, quite a bit away from that. Give me a second. Yes, I am. I am picking you up right now. Uh -oh. Okay, bye. We're going to orthodontist. Bye. Okay, so that's uh, it's, it's just what I gotta do, right? So it is this daily driver right here. It's it's amazing, and at the feels same time I feel that it is a bit wasteful when I do these um, non-delivery trips non-trucking trips because it is a big vehicle but at the same time you know do I really need another vehicle to just pick up my I'm gonna accelerate because I have a feeling this is gonna turn yellow and red and I want to avoid it so so what happens to it? Does it... Yeah, it doesn't really complain about it. Because usually when I hit the accelerator, it'll tell me that I can't... Uh, the vehicle won't brake for me. As soon as I hit the accelerator. Driving in like accelerated mode. So I'm going to hit it. I'm like, oh... Interesting. And I am in standard mode because I found out that uh, hurry mode doesn't necessarily, you know, it's not necessarily quicker, it just changes lanes more. And if I want to hurry, I can just override the system by, by giving it some sort of direction. I can, there's a couple ways I can do that. And I can hit the accelerator, and that is like the most hurry of hurry modes. So I hit the accelerator, I can tell it to turn left, to take this lane instead. Or turn right, and that is essentially it. I, I don't want to the car to automatically, automatically swap lanes or switch lanes, because sometimes it doesn't make the best decisions although it has improved a lot over time I noticed that it's not going to wait till last minute to um, switch over like if I needed a right hand turn right here it's not gonna wait until I'm all the way here to start uh, turning to the right and sometimes it does that but I noticed what the the later versions that's not the case so we'll just see what's going on. I'm gonna turn up the AC just a tiny bit more. It's gonna, I, I apologize for the noise. It's gonna get a little bit noisier. 
and uh, you know I should get the rear going as well. Oh, the rear is on high. Okay, I put it up medium. Uh, you know I'm looking at the screen. I just want to see how long before it it complains about it. I'm not sure why this this thing is always in the middle now or towards the right. The rear view mirror. I think that's a new thing. I call it being over here and I can't get it over here anymore. This rear thing. I guess some people might complain that when it was over here it's just too small. Yeah, over here, I mean it's certainly larger. But now you're twisting your head all the way over here just to see what's going on. It is certainly larger and easier to see now once it's towards the middle. And if you notice the split, it's not a 50-50 split. It's probably like a 60-40 split. So that screen is larger and, uh, you know, I'll just leave it here. I like this view better. Oh, by the way, uh, as soon as I... I gotta get out of here. I, I created a shortcut, so I have to edit my trip. And... Uh, Remove my shortcut middle, and as soon as I turn and I hit the done, and it'll just go towards you know this shortcut way. I don't have to do it that often anymore because the new thing in uh, the self driving modes is that I can select finally, I can select where on the map I want to go. And this truck better get moving. I'm gonna accelerate here because I don't want to miss this light. Now I hit done. Oh, yeah, so that thing still shows up. It will not break if uh, accelerator on feet is on pedal or something to that effect. Alright, uh, this looks good. Okay. Alright, so the direction here looks good. Let's turn on this thing. So I am looking towards the screen a lot more. Maybe it's just me, but I, I think that it's, it's not complaining as much. So we are approaching. Look, I'm just looking right up. I'm just looking at the screen. Let's just see. Okay, yeah, the complaint takes longer. I, I'm not sure. I think it it's taking longer to detect me. It, I mean, it detects me right away. I'm looking again. Is it gonna? There should be a light that shows up. I'm not even looking. Wow, this thing is not like even doesn't even care. I'm not even... What the heck? I'm not even looking. Look at... This is odd. Unsupervised is getting close. I'll tell you right now. Okay. That was the longest amount of time that I went unsupervised. Oh my gosh. We are getting there. We are getting there. They are stretching the limits. Wow. Wow. So... We are getting there. We are going to go unsupervised. This is going to be amazing. It is already happening. It's already happening. This is, thing is its stretching out the time. And that was a long time of me not paying attention. I know it was more than like 7 seconds. But previously, it it only take like 3 or 4 seconds for it to annoy you. So, this is a big deal. Anyhow, I mean, that is all for my trip. I am basically there. Um, I haven't ran anyone over. Car drives well. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. And see you on the next one. Take care.